Shiver my timber, shiver my sail. Dead men have no rum. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. As you can tell by my... Oh, uh, yeah, look at that muscle, baby. Yeah, baby. As you can tell by my obvious attire here in the summer months of Florida, my floppy fishing hat, Aussie style. I went to a fishing trip because heaven knows where I was at, there were no pickpockets, unlike Rockville. Yeah. Yeah, probably everyone heard about that. The infamous thing that happened at Rockville, I forget if I mentioned it in a previous video, but yeah, there was a whole ring of pickpockets there. They managed to, they managed to collect, the police managed to collect 48 phones. Now going by the cockroach rule, and let me explain the cockroach rule. For every one cockroach you see, there's 10 hiding behind the wall. So if they uh, brought back 48 cell phones, that means they stole 480. Wow. That's not including wallets and other stuff. You know what? I'm not here to talk about that nonsense. As you probably saw by my very unique thumbnail i went fishing today i had a saturday off yes 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 so i had a saturday off i went fishing so here are some videos from the exotic locale here in florida also known as holly hill florida went right off lpga you know what it doesn't matter i caught one fish you know what a bad day fishing is still a is still better than a good day at work and you know what i can still say i caught a fish and when the economy collapses, I can say I could eat today. So also, at the end of this video, there's a little bonus for everyone. Because I haven't made a cooking video, I'm going to have, have a how to drink video. Mainly that of me making a Blue Lagoon. Because, I don't know, I haven't done it in a while. And it's going to be something good. Probably because I showed the Dr. Funk of Tahiti last time for Rockville. Because I'm still the man who brings the funk. So yeah, so enjoy fishing. Or at least the exotic locale of Holly Hill, Florida. And don't and stay tuned to see how to make a Blue Lagoon. And check out my feast. Because I'm having two bacon cheeseburgers in paradise. Along with my Blue Lagoon. And Arby's curly fries. Yes. Enjoy the video, folks. Again, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know where you want to, what exotic location right here in Florida you want to see next. Although, to be honest, it'll probably be New Smyrna Beach when I have a day off during the week. I'm not going there on a weekend. No, I'm not foolhardy like that. Hello, folks. Welcome. I'm the world famous, I am Hobo Tom. Let's see if I can show you a little bit. Oh, wait, what's that? Looking out of my truck bed? Some fishing poles. I am off fishing. And I think I'm going to go to LPGA. I'm going to see what it's like under the covered spot. It's about 99 degrees. I don't know if you can tell by the thermostat there. I have my fishing hat, fishing drink there. And who knows, I haven't made a fishing drink about the exotic locales of Florida in a while. Let's see what's out there, folks. So here we are, right off LPGA. A bunch of cars here, but that doesn't mean necessarily anything. Because that could be for picnics and whatever. Let's see, I don't see anyone far down there. I'm just going to go probably park right here. We'll see what's up. And see the sign there? Holly Hill, baby. There we go, Holly Hill. There, so again, there's this dock. So, I think I'm going to go here underneath the shade for just a little bit. The sun goes down, there's a picnic. A whole bunch of stuff going on here. Let's see here. Here we go. Nice and calm for a little bit underneath the shade. Again, I don't want to necessarily burn myself too much. Yep. 
kind of give you a little panoramic view. Everything, quite a nice scenic view. The water right there. Uh oh, I know you can't feel that. That temperature literally just dropped a couple degrees. Let's see, let's take a look at the skyline. Oh yeah, that's the unique thing in Florida, is that you can literally see the rain. Even the pelican knows better. I think that's rain out there on the horizon. Still has a few hours to get here. I don't know. I caught my one fish, and you know what they say, folks. Well, I hate to say it, but it's not been the most productive day. It's kind of my one line out still. Leave that out for a little bit. Mainly because if you look behind me, you gotta get you. Yeah, behind me, you know, it's up a little bit. It's pretty cloudy. The wind picked Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and maybe I'll post a. So it wasn't the most productive fishing day. Maybe I'll show you guys how to make a blue and golden fish. Wow, what appropriate music. Thunder by Imagine Dragons, because yes, this is not the end of the world that you are watching, folks. This is called wet weather here in Florida. So I got home literally right in the nick of time. So if not, you can see kind of got my fishing gear all stowed away. It's there in the garage, so I'm kind of happy about that. And I got back right before the rain started. Hey, you know what? I caught one fish, but as they say, a bad day fishing it's better than a good day at work. So, yep. Uh, I think I'll show you guys how to make a blue lagoon later because again, I should treat myself. I had a fun time. I'm gonna have two bacon cheeseburgers in paradise. And, let's see the, fa the facade of my house. Rear view mirror. I have two bacon cheeseburgers from paradise and a blue lagoon to celebrate my fishing day. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye. Hello folks, welcome back. From the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. You can see by my reflection in the mirror tonight. Tonight, it's a special night. Mainly because I went fishing. I'm treating myself right now. So here, let me show you what I'm going to treat myself to. There is the ever famous Hobo Cat cheese puff. Some bread out, bacon out, bacon's cooking. And ah, bacon cheeseburgers in paradise. So what I'm going to do today is that everyone knows how to make a cheeseburger. So I'm going to make a drink called a Blue Lagoon. And the first thing you need, well, let me get the ingredients ready. So let's go over here, the bar. Yes, all the rums. But why is the rum always gone? I wonder. So you need rum, put that there. It's blue. Blue curacao, put that there, and my little specialty stuff. And this is a drink you build. So, if you're at beep, that's gonna be the microwave going off in about 13 seconds. I'm gonna go in here, need some lemon lime soda. I am a cheap bastard, folks. I cannot afford 7 up. There's no way, God's green earth, I'm going to get a $2 soda or a $3 soda. And don't even talk to me about the price of Coca-Cola. That's ridiculous. So I just use basic, good old-fashioned Walmart twist up. I have my drinks. Let's go over here to the stemware shelf. And I'm gonna pull a nice, because you want to look, you want on presentation. So a brandy snifter. Now the first thing I do 
is I'm going to fill this bad boy up with ice. Got my nice little sniffer glass. Now again, I am a cheap bastard too. I have stuff cleaning there. Go in here. Always get nice fresh ice and I actually use real drinking water for my ice. Again, some ice cubes here. Very simply, let's see here. Prop something up here. Excuse my hand for a moment. There we go. No, this is my thing, so. If you want to use an ice scooper, that's up to you. If you have like an ice maker, again, you're probably a lot richer than I am, so. Oh well. Do you like little crunch, crunchy pieces of ice in there? Oh, there we go. That one flying. So, let's see here. Little piece there. Chunks there. Got nice shaved ice in there. A chunk of ice on the floor. That's okay. No one's going to miss that. Help me clean up later anyway. Now, I live in Florida, so therefore, I like to have a full glass of ice. Mainly because... Even inside, ice melts. There's this one. There's this one. You know, add a couple more in this tray. And however you can get it out, that's up to you. If you like less ice, that's fine. I like my drinks well iced. So now that I have my little brandy snifter full of ice, I'm back here to the bar. And we're gonna build a drink. So I'm gonna put that there, leave our ingredients there. Okay, so now I'm building the drink. Remember, this is a built drink. It's supposed to look pretty now. For the most part, you can use any rum you want. I just wanna use this mainly because it's almost empty. So I don't like to, I say waste not, want not. What about solid six ounces there? Set, set that to the side. So now to get the nice view, your, your blue curacao, or Croco, however you pronounce it. I get to figure out the pronunciation of it. go. And a lot of people do like to use clear rum. That might be the way to go again. I do like the taste of that funky Jamaican style of rum. And the color is still not too bad. So let's see what this looks like. Hey, it still looks blue to me. That's blue. Da -dee -da 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 Trusty bar spoon here. Make sure everything's mixed up. There we go, folks. And that, ooh, that tastes good too, is your blue lagoon. Very pretty drink, I think. Cool. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this content, let me know, and I shall make more of how do you make hobo drinks? It's pretty cool looking. I don't even call that the blue hole. I don't know. Blue Lagoon's pretty good though. I think if I use the clear rum, it will clear, but who cares? Cheers everyone, bye.